Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before I start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. This video is linked in to my podcast. I'm doing loads of podcast related reaction videos right now. In episode two of season two, I talked to Morgan James about people that she feels like have loads of soul in their voice. And one of the people she names is Willie Nelson. So that inspired this video. If you'd like to find out a little bit more, you can find that on Spotify, on Apple, on Google Podcasts, Acast, all the podcast places. And if you'd like to support the podcast and the YouTube channel, you can do it by heading over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Beth Roars. You can also get some more exclusive content and find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. All right, let's get to it. Willie Nelson. Maybe I didn't love you. Quite as often as I could have Maybe I didn't treat you Quite as good as I should have <laughs> It's so simple If I made you feel second best What is so distinctive about his voice is the kind of nasal country style quality to it yet it does have warmth to it but also the way that he kind of pulls around that phrasing it's not very even it's almost behind the beat ever so slightly girl i'm sorry i was blind you can really hear those rhotic r's girl but you were always on my mind and interesting, he's not fully closing. He's really open on things like ma instead of my, ma mind. Instead of going fully onto the consonant on mind, which would be a jazzy thing, or mind with the end right on the end, which would be maybe uh, a little bit more of like a musical theater thing. He's somewhere in between mind. So it's a really, really closed vowel. You were always on. It's so simple though, and um... Maybe I didn't hold you It really feels like he means it. All those lonely, lonely times I guess I never told It's all about dynamics as well. But I'm so happy that you're mine the way that he really kind of shapes it so that the phrasing is louder at the top and then it comes down towards the end of the phrase is like a wave of emotion and sound. Little things I should have said. And his diction is clear. I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. There's that interesting phrasing again, just behind the beat. Tell He's catching up with his guitar playing almost. Me. Tell me that your sweet love hasn't died. And give me. It's interesting how he uses his vibrato. He's actually doing it in a couple of different ways. He's using that vibrato the whole way through. Ah, or ah, and then just putting it on the end he has a lot of control over his vibrato and it's such a beautiful beautiful tool in terms of style and how things feel when you use it the whole way through it gives it that intensity that you wouldn't have had otherwise give me one more chance to keep you satisfied I'll keep you satisfied. He's got tone at the bottom of his range as well. And maybe I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. 
Maybe I didn't treat you. So that time, instead of keeping it open, it's I uh, closing it a little bit. He's just playing around, although there's not loads of mad things, although I've managed to stop and start this video quite a lot, so maybe there is, but they're so subtle, these little differences, and it's really about telling a story and the lyrics and putting across an emotion, and uh, he really, really embodies that. Quite as good as I should have. Making it almost speechy at points. Little things I should have said and done. I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind. You were always on. We're always on my mind. You were always on my mind. I say this in quite a lot of videos, and there are some singers that are fantastic technical singers, but this isn't about technique, and singing isn't about technique. It's about expressing something and you don't need to do anything fancy to express something those are just tools here he really really proves that simplicity is sometimes the best thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe check out the podcast and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>